and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a scenario called deposit slip in cash and bank management model. Deposit slip is a document which denotes the money received to the organization bank from the customer and it will also states the deposit slip date, it will also state customer account number, bank account number and method of deposit and the payment reference. Let's see how we can do this in dynamic history of finance and operations. Also after this we will see how to cancel the deposit slip in system. Let's see what are the set of record to do the same in Microsoft Dynamics is for finance and operation. Now we will see what are the configurations required to work on the or to enable the deposit slip functionality. The first we need to do is we need to go we need to make sure the number sequence are defined for the deposit slip. For that we need to go to cash and bank management module. We need to go to cash and bank management parameters and then number sequence. The first option is deposit slip. So this is for the deposit slip number. We have already con configured it and that's done. Now we will see how to generate the deposit slip. First we will create a payment customer payment journal. I will create a new. We will select. I can settle the invoice however I don't have or or in the rest of time I will not settle it I will just select a flat invoice with the customer ID okay and then I will select this money I will select the bank account where the money is going to be deposited I will select a bank, Indian bank and then method of payment is record why I will show you, I will uh, show why method of payment is record. Okay, maybe I will select cash or check maybe okay and then here in the payment reference I will add say suppose one seven five six and this is mandatory see to tick this column called user deposit slip if this option is not there and insert a column for your reference or for your uh, you know this marking this ticked and then I will take it and that's done nothing is required more if something is required to settle transaction and as per you know, selection of dimension and all you select it and before posting you select a method of payment 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 reference number and user deposit slip the option should be enabled i will post it and once it is posted in the print option sorry my bad in the functions option you can see the deposit slip option is enabled I can click on it and system will ask me which date it should be deposited I will select maybe today's date click OK click OK And the deposit slip will be po posted or created and this will be printed so you see now method of payment it is mandatory you see method of payment will be visible here payment reference which you have given it will be visible here bank account it will be visible here bank account number it will be drafted like this INR registration amount what is the amount which you are going to be deposited okay so that's it for deposit slip so now this deposit slip we can also see 
from the cash and bank management module here you will see under inquiries and reports deposit slips so here we will be able to see all the deposit slip created and which date and for which bank and amount okay so that is one part which is creation of deposit slip if you want to see the voucher itself you can click on this voucher you can see the entry for deposit slip there is no additional entry the entry which is getting posted or passed uh, at the time of payment uh, entry the same will be visible from the deposit slip voucher but for only deposit slip there is no other accounting entry is just a you know document which you are creating so this is created now we will move to the next part which is deposit slip cancellation if you remember for any payment with having bank as a offset or debit or credit which we select in the payment journal we cannot reverse the journal however if deposit slip is selected or deposit slip functionality is used we can reverse the payment journal with a single click or cancel the payment journal and it will also unsettle the invoice which was selected at the name of payment this is one of the good or very big advantage in their deposit slip let's see so now it's time to look into the deposit slip reversal the first thing which we need to do is we need to create a deposit slip reversal journal for that we need to go to general ledger go to journal names here we can create the deposit slip reversal journal and the journal type i will show you i have already created this one the journal type will be bank deposit slip cancellation okay and here i will add uh, have added the voucher series this is first setup the second setup which is not mandatory however it's kind of defining the sop or approach how the deposit slip will be cancelled for that i will go to cash and bank management parameter here use review process for deposit slip reversal here if you see this description it is mentioned that deposit slip can be cancelled by two way one the first way is if you untick this if you make it make it not enabled it will not be reviewed if you click on deposit slip cancel it will directly be cancelled it will directly be posted the reversal will be posted automatically if you make it yes then the deposit slip reversal journal will be created still you will have some chance to review it and post it okay that is one parameter we need to take care based on the requirement another parameter reasons for to our reasons for deposit slip payment cancellation this is one if you make it enable then it will be mandatory to give a reason okay this is this two setup is also we need to take a look and we need to discuss with client that this possibility is already there once we have defined so for now i will make it yes okay now i will go to the deposit slip which you have generated already i will cancel it here this deposit slip we have generated what i will do i will click on cancel payment a new window will come that i can give the reason code if there i can give reason comment and once done i will see the journal name if you remember that in the parameter we have selected the review option so had it been not reviewed option enabled then the journal name option would have been disabled okay now i will click okay so now you see bank deposit slip cancellation is done so 
still you see this cancel option is not enabled the because that has not been posted the journal has been created how we can see that you see this payment reversal approvals repository payment reversals i will go there and now i will see the journal has been created in this form so for that you can make a approval process it's not workflow there is no standard workflow for deposit slip reversal however you can still enable the make a checker option in the journal name where you can make it ready and approved so by this process the make a checker option what i will do i will select it make report as ready before that i can review it see customer name is it debit side and bank exact same thing which was selected in the customer name journal same thing has come here i can post it but okay before that i need to approve and i can post it it's done so deposit slip has been reversed similarly had it been any invoice settled that invoice also would have been unsettled and reverse the transactions that is the beauty of deposit slip cancellation in the normal payment it is not possible if i go to that deposit slip sorry deposit slip form uh i have clicked on different form if i go to this deposit slip form i can see this deposit slip has been cancelled and marked as yes cancelled okay if required there are there are a lot of reports available for deposit slip like this deposit and under inquiries and reports there are reports called deposit slip deposit slip report deposit summary by customer account so these are all deposit slip related report you can take a look on those reports so that is all about the deposit slip process and functionalities and the end to end configuration what is possible in dynamics is to have financial operations that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new today thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this bye for now